Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and today again I have come up with a very special problem. It looks very simple but actually it is a challenging problem. So here is a statement of this problem. A small bead of mass M0 is rigidly mounted on a massless rigid rod of length 3L from one end of the rod as shown. The rod is connected to two springs having a spring constants K1 and K2. Initially the rod is in horizontal position in equilibrium. Calculate the time period of uh, system for small vertical oscillations. Assume that the spring remains vertical during the motion. So this is the statement of this problem. So I'll request viewers if you want to give it a try, please try this question and uh, uh, after pausing the video and do come back and uh, see the solution for it. So let's discuss the concept part of uh, this problem here. Uh, the since bead is fixed at unsymmetrical position, therefore the rod plus bead will will be in combined motion. That means both rotation as well as translation will take place when displaced from its mean position. So this is the first term and trust me, majority of the students make mistake in this. They normally consider uh, only vertical oscillation. That means translation. They, they don't consider the rotation part due to uh, massless rod so let me know in the comment section if you are among uh, those students who have been trying this question and uh, started with only translation of the rod so there is some something special for you you must be very careful while uh, solving such type of problem analyze well that uh, whether uh, only translation will be there or only rotation will be there or both combined motions will be present in this another tip uh, i'll give equilibrium conditions don't affect the time period so we can avoid finding the equilibrium conditions unless it is asked in the problem it will reduce the time for solving such problems in general in uh, simple harmonic motion problems uh, you if question is just about uh, finding time period i'll suggest you can skip uh, finding the condition for equilibrium it will save few lines few seconds or maybe 20 30 seconds in your time which will be very beneficial for uh, the exam point of view so let's discuss this now here what I'm doing is I'm going to displace this rod from its mean position by applying some force and on applying this force, whatever force I will get in return, that will be my restoring force. And since it was unsymmetrically placed, definitely this rod, this rod will have some translation downward as well as it will have some rotation here or in uh, terms of acceleration, we can talk about there will be some acceleration of ACM. Uh, when we are displacing it downwards and uh, there will be some rotation also <coughs> with angular acceleration of alpha. So now here the corresponding values for translation I can say x and the corresponding angle uh, rotated by the rod is theta. Uh, this is the situation at any general time t when we have displaced it from the mean position. So you can see here due to rotation here uh, this point will come down by x and at the same time due to rotation uh, this length uh, a theta or l theta we can write let's say this is l i have taken a so x plus a theta we can write here and this is 2a so this distance is going to be x it will come down and 2a theta it will be moving upwards so here you can say that overall displacement of this point is going to be x minus 2a theta and rod will not be actually vertical rod will be in a slightly inclined uh, situation just for fbd sake and uh, for simple geometry i have made it like this but actually this rod will be in uh, some tilted position at this moment all right now this is the extra compression which spring k1 is going to feel so the spring k1 is going to apply a force of k1 x theta x plus a theta in upward direction and similarly here this end overall compression i can say at uh, spring 2 is going to be x minus 2 a theta so there is going to be upward force of k2 into x minus 2 a theta so overall i can say this is the net force which is going to restore this uh, 
uh, restore this uh, system back to its uh, original configuration or you can say equilibrium position so i can say my f restoring is actually uh, sum of this k1 x plus a theta plus k2 x minus 2 a theta i'll be writing it we can express the entire thing in terms of acceleration terms also but i am avoiding it you can try that also now another thing is here uh, since bead is present at this point its weight mg is acting so if i take torque on this rod about the same point here then uh, whatever normal is acting between bead and uh, the rod that will give zero torque so overall i can say since rod is massless its uh, net torque must be balanced net torque will be zero here so torque provided by this uh, this force and the torque provided by this force must be equal they should cancel each other so i am going to get another equation here and that is k1 x plus a theta times a and that should be equal to k2 x minus 2 a theta times 2 a we are talking about small oscillations only so these angles x everything is very small all right now i can write uh, the expression of f restoring so restoring force i'll be writing minus sign kinematically i'm putting here and then i'll be writing net force towards the mean position so this is one force towards the mean position plus this is another force towards the mean position x x terms i'm separating here k1 x plus k2 x from here and this is going to be k1 minus 2 k2 a theta all right now this equation is actually in terms of uh, x as well as theta so i would like to convert this either in uh, x or i'll be trying to convert this in completely in theta so here you can see i'll be using this equation which we have which i have derived earlier so when i simplify this equation <clears throat> separate the x terms together and uh, theta terms together so i'll be getting this relation and from here i'll be replacing this a theta directly in this equation so that my entire equation will become in terms of x and which will lead me to the standard equation of simple harmonic motion when i substitute and simplify uh, surprisingly a lot of terms are getting cancelled here very nice terms are coming and i am going to get this f restoring as minus times 9k1 k2 by k1 plus 4k2 times x and this is my k effective in this uh, situation so this is uh, like the condition for shm equation all right i can write it as uh, m into d2 x by dt square uh, that is all fine so this is the effective k now i can write the time period of uh, this as 2 pi under root of m by k effective when i substitute i am getting this uh, 9 uh, i'll take outside the root so it becomes 2 pi by 3 under root of m naught k1 plus 4 k2 divided by k1 k2 this is going to be the answer for this problem i hope you have enjoyed this problem and do let me know in the comment section if you have made the mistake of uh, leaving rotation part or either you are doing by completely rotation or you are doing by completely translation if you have done this mistake please let me know in the comment section that's it in this video if you haven't uh, subscribed my channel please subscribe it share it with the, uh, share it with others and uh, i'll be coming very soon with another video thank you